Hello, everybody. This is Carl. Welcome to Aeronautica. We just took off from Harden International Airport on this Boeing 777-200ER with a British Airways livery. And we're about to descend to Anhedral International. Hmm. Who made this livery? Is it pie? Is it waffles? All right, so the registration here is Gaul, Yankee, Mike, Mike, Gaul, G, Dash Y M M G. All right, we just passed twenty thousand feet. Let's reduce the throttle. All so this here is an almost perfect livery. The the text in line with the main doors. There's not much detail on the engines, and the wing is an older version, but the registration is under. Let's turn the throttle to 11. Oh great, <laughs> I kind of forgot this. I didn't see the chat. Alright, so Speaver 4731. Call sign, let's uh, give ourselves an 89. Alright. And here International Tower. Speedbird 4731, crossing approach. Yeah, we're still low. All right. We're now reaching the 60,000 feet mark. So let's reduce the throttle. All right, so wind set three, two, three. the dash key to toggle the wingtip smoke and as we have crossed the 16,000 feet mark nose down a bit and we should be reaching 10,000 as we approach the runway. All right, speaking of the British livery here, comparing the the real plane, the port side, has this text, a bit to the left. So, rather than in line with the blocked off window here, 
this should be moved a bit more to the right, close to the coat of arms. Well, in addition to improving the wing by adding the metal texture, an almost perfect livery. It's just the details on the engines, as well as the text on the port side. And I guess the rest of the BH-777s and possibly the A380s should follow along. that I guess the other liver IDs the same airline different registrations may have the same issue here on the port side well, I should ask a player to change this one soon or with a different airline, probably American, or one of those charter airlines. Right then, so we're now 21 kilometers, we've reached the 10,000 feet mark, let's increase the throttle and level our plane. Alright, Speedbird 4731, requesting approach, 3 left. All right. Echo, Echo Golf Alpha India Tower, and here on International Tower. Good afternoon, Speedbird 4731, requesting approach 03 left. Alright, so let's rotate. Now bank left and align with the runway. Clear for zero three left final speed for four four seven three one. Clear for ILS approach. All right, so let's activate the ILS approach for runway 03 left. All right, it's almost 4 p.m. game time. Speedbird 4731 on final. Runway 03 left. We got the clearance. Speedbird 4731, 03 left approach, clear to land. Let's toggle the landing gears with the G key. And now we will attempt the, the full establishment. All 
Right, wins that. One five. And we're, we're still too high, so let's have to be careful at this point. We'll have to increase the throttle once we... All right then. Increase the throttle. The tracking should be in this here. All right, Steamer four seven three one fully established at zero three left. Break. Right. Speed four four seven three one. Evacuate. Vacate to taxiway. Not evacuate. Yeah, vacate to nearest taxiway. Then. Then let's taxi to terminal five of this. And Heathrow International. The pseudo Heathrow. <laughs> oh, it's uh, 25 p.m. Let's turn on the navigation lights. Speedbird 4731, taxi to gate. Contact ground. Good night. Alright then, let's search the vehicle database for this Boeing 777-200ER. Here we go. Oh, we <laughs> And typical floating point issue. Long standing. <laughs> right, here's the statistics for the 200ER. And the engine used here, this is the Rolls-Royce Trent 800. So any suggested livery, which would match reality, which airline would be limited for consistency. So if you're for, for those Airline still in service with the triple seven with Rolls Royce Trent 800. That would be American Airlines and British Airways, as well as some private and charter airlines. Yes, um, so, yeah, so, American Airlines, British Airways, yeah, I guess at least one of Nordwind's 777s has to try an 800, and the private or charter airlines, it's, um, privileged style, Polaris Aviation Solutions, and the Arizona Cardinals. That used to be a 
from Delta. So let's park at a Terminal 5 gate. Will this do? One check bridge or two check bridges? All right, we'll we'll park at this gate. Gently, gently, O oh, zero, right, we should. Gently, all right, due to server lag. You would usually get a reverse while pressing the brake key. Yes, the B key for the brakes. Due to server lag, you would get a slight reverse. Okay, let's verify we're not tilting upwards. That's it. Let's shut off the engines. Let's press the X key to refuel, and then the save key before the mission is complete. All right, there we go. We got our British 777-200ER. Park at Terminal 5. As in, we're the real British. <laughs> yeah. Like a real speedbird there. Alright, so let's see if there are any yellow rare jobs to continue on, or we can just. We can stop right here. Right. One for the screenshot. to the left. Yep, this isn't. <laughs> yeah, this is in line with the <laughs> the tug. So let's do our utmost best like this. Right, that's for the screenshot. Let's end our flight. All right, so there's the the flight that I recorded data. We just we took off from Harden International to here, so it's like Miami to London. So let's save the review. And yes, we did. It's saved. So let's check our record. So it's a uh, hard international to Anheuser International, a short flight. 
So here we are at Hardin, the pseudo Miami, and we just park at a random gate. I wonder where where does British park their planes? It's either A380 or the Triple Seven, or this is just half of Miami. And A380s can land here. Right, so no lights. It doesn't matter. So let's Okay, so here we go. We just reverse and then we taxied to the ru ta to runway zero one and then Right. Okay, we got we tripped on runway, but we rotated right after. Long standing issue. All right. Landing gears up. Let's head our way to Anhedra International, or Pseudo Heathrow. All right, so, all right, eastward. We'll be cruising uh, 35,000 feet. And we climb slightly. I think it's and then we we attempt to balance out to the perfect flight level. But our flight didn't take that long and then we started our descent uh, ninety five kilometers away from Manhedral. Right, we leveled our way once we reached the west coast. That's Lunsardon Regional. Okay, so yes. What do you think of this pie or waffles made British Airways 777? Yeah, it's a bit outdated. It's a solid gray on the wings with a couple of lines. Yeah, it's like, is this a year old or how many months old? It's probably one, but, but the essentials are there. There's the registration under the wing. Yeah, and aside from the slight mistake at the port, and not much detail on the engines. Almost perfect. As was mentioned earlier in the video, let's move on. Alright, so we've already seen this. Let's. Alright, so we're going to line to the runway. Let's check. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so let's reverse this. And normal speed. Let's take the gears down. Come on, gears down. All right. All right, we had to lower the nose. Get some descent and then Alright, here's normal speed. Alright. Speedboard 
Four seven three one fully established at zero three left. All right, here comes the flare. Oh, <laughs> was it good? Was it the so-called butter? Oh, that's too far. Oh, still too far. All right, right before the this one. Yep, that's a bit late. Yep, a bit late. Yeah, it may look up here butter once you look up, but <laughs> the ground <laughs> otherwise, and well, it's not an Air India A350. Yeah, I guess that was an Air India A350-900. Oh, there's another ANA A380. Alright, so <laughs> make way for the... <laughs> Really, be spawn at the runway, more like an emergency. Yep. <laughs> Even without the flaps feature, <laughs> it could have worked. All right, that's about it for this demonstration of the flight data recorder. Right, and with that, this was a yellow rarity charter flight from Harden International to Anhedral International, Miami to London Heathrow, on a British Airways Boeing 777-200ER with matching engines. All right, see you on the next Aeronautica video. Cheerio, mates.